Hello and happy new week. Welcome to another episode of the Achievers Corner with Victoria Showomi. So in this week, in this new week we are starting as you are ready to go to make something big happen. I really just want to share with you on what I call the power of focus. The power of focus. Why is this so important that you need to focus? You know, the past few weeks I have been doing quite a lot of things here and there, here and there, and I discover that I have less energy because I've been pulled in multiple places. I've been stretched in different directions, and I'm having less energy, less um, less time to actually make something great happen. So I'm like, okay, come back, Victoria. And I took the time, like, okay, I need to distress. I need to calm down, and I need to aim at a target. And as I begin to do that, I begin to see a change, a change. Wow, I'm like, this is positive. And it's what I want to share with you even as you go this week. The power of focus. Why it is so important for you to focus. Because the thing is, if you are not focused, you are going to be stretched, be pulled in different multiple angles. And nothing substantial will come of it. And you will see yourself, you will think that you are busy because you are into a lot of things. You are being pulled, you are being stretched, you are just going from pillar to post, trying to please everyone. And at the end, you feel that your energy is gone, the, motiv- the energy is gone, the motivation is no longer there, the desire is not there, you feel exhausted, you feel tired, you don't even feel like doing anything anymore. But when you can take a moment, guys, when you can take a moment and calm down to yourself and be able to say, you know what, what am I actually focusing on? What am I actually working on? What do I want to put my energy in? What do I want to concentrate on? What do I want to put my attention in? What do I want to devote my time in? That is when you're going to get maximum return. Because the thing is, whatever you focus on is your reality. It becomes your reality. Whatever you spend time on becomes your reality. You know, if you look at in the book of Genesis, I'm first lady, okay? I'm a Bible-believing person. In the, in the book of Genesis chapter 30, you know, after Jacob has served Laban for so many years, you know, to get his wives and different things, right? He served him for so many years. And then he comes to a time, he said, Laban, uncle, I have served you. Now it is time to go to my own place. It's time for me to take care of my family, to raise my children, to go back to my country. So if you pay me, okay, set me up on my way to go. I have invested. I have taken care of your flocks. I've done all this. It's time to pay me. Give me what belongs to me, my portion, and let me go my way. And Laban knew that all of the things that happened to him, his blessing, his flocks, nothing just growing out of proportion. He knew that it was because of the favor of God on Jacob. He actually says in the Bible, in the book of Genesis, right towards the end of that chapter. And well, Laban was like, okay, tell me, what do you want me to pay you? What is your wage? Tell me how much I should pay you and things like that. Well, Jacob came it up with, with a plan. He said, you know what? I have helped to raise all these animals, you know, your livestock and all of those. And I know you want something that is so clean, that is so good. But, you know, look at the animals that are spotted and speckled. The animals that are not white, they don't have the same color. They have multiple colors. They have stains, different things. Those ones, give them to me. And you take the good ones, you take the healthy one, you take the beautiful one with one color, the white and all of those. But the one that really has different colors, multiple spots, speckled things on that, maybe doesn't look good to the eyes. Let me take 
care of them. Let those be my wages. Wow. Laban did not argue. Like, you want to take, like, the ones that are not really good looking, the spotted, the speckled, you go ahead and take them and leave me with the plain animals. Well, no, God gave him some ideas of what to do. And he had a rod, right? He had a rod that all the animals, he made them to see, to focus on that spot, that type of rod, to focus on it. And each time they passed through, I mean, and he was deliberate. That was his focus, like, you know what? This is all I have, okay? This must work. That was his aim. And as each animal focused on that rod, when they put to bed, they had speckled, spotted animals. I mean, they gave back to exactly the same. And it was like a ripple effect. He was so massive. And it's because that was the only thing, only thing they saw at that time. And that is what become their reality. So whatever you focus on in the week, that is what will become your reality. If you focus on a specific task, you will see that you're able to do it. And I want to share five points with you, okay? And now I already talking about whatever you focus on, yield. Whatever you focus on, there is going to be an outcome for you. If you focus on, you know, on your image, on on your weight, before you know it, if you focus on that and you diligent in it, before you know it, you're going to lose that pounds. If you focus on getting your finances in order, that is all you think about day in, day out. That is all your, where your attention is. It's not divided. Before you know it, everything will be under control. Okay? Whatever you focus on, it yields. And the other point is, when you are focusing on something, Focus accelerates your progress. Like I shared earlier on, if you have been stretched in multiple places, you will not make significant progress because you are given five here, two here, three there. You are like all over the place. But when you focus on specific goal or specific task, specific thing you want to make happen, it accelerates you are progress because your mind, everything that is coming out of you is about you getting to the finish line. I saw a post, I think it was on LinkedIn, of a lady, it was a uh, track race. And the lady is so far, far, far behind. And by the time she passed on the baton to the person that we run the last lap, I think it was like two laps to run, the lady was so far behind. But that lady, when she got the stick, Oh my goodness, she really, uh, we could even see those who were ahead of her because they were way gone, but so focused on the finish line and she continued like raising, not looking to the left, to the center, just focusing, just moving forward. I mean, we can see it propelling forward, like I need to make it. And I'm like, oh my God. And she like one by one, she begin to leave those people behind. Those who are way ahead of her, she begin to leave them behind. Like with one stride, moving, moving, moving. That is what focus can do. It accelerates your progress. It, number three, it brings about undivided attention. It brings about undivided attention. When, you, when your attention is divided, you get little. You get little, and at the end of the day, it's like, what happened today? What did I, what did I achieve in the all of today, in the all of this week, in the all of this month? What did you achieve? Because you, your attention is into multiple places, but when you focus, you have undivided attention. More happen for you when you focus. It brings about less distraction because you know what you are working on. You can say no to anything that is not in alignment with what you are working on at a time. I mean, there are times people will reach out to me and be like, Victoria, let's work on a book together. But at that time, I was working, I was so focused on something else. And I'm like, I wish I can, but this time I have to decline because that isn't my focus at that time. I don't want to be distracted with what I am doing because I want to do it and do it and finish it. When you focus, it brings less distraction. And the last one, it brings maximum outcome. When you focus on things, what will take you 
10 years to achieve, you can do it in less time. If you look at those who are like on trying to lose weight, if they focus on that and they are committed to it, they do everything they need to do. They go, you know, they, they, obedient to the letter they follow all of the instruction they are focusing on it you know when they're supposed to eat when they're supposed not to eat when they're supposed to drink their water when they're supposed to be at the gym to do what they focus on that what will have take them years to accomplish they're able to achieve it in minimal time so you are able to have a maximum outcome. We arise, may see other people that are working on 10 things, 15 goals at the same time. And at the end, they cannot pinpoint a major accomplishment. And they spend their whole entire time into going to different things. So this week, as you go, what is it that you want to focus on? I want you to identify just one for this week. Is it to declutter? Is it to organize your schedule? Is it to organize your business? What is it that you want to focus on this week? Just one thing. Just one thing. Study about that and focus your attention on it. Put your effort, your resources, your time. Don't be distracted, but focus on it. And you will see what happened at the end of the uh, at the end of the week. If your goal is just for five pounds this week, you can make it happen by you just focusing on that. If your focus this week is to bring in new clients, you can do it by just focusing on that and doing everything within your power to make it happen. Because when you focus, it opens up your brain, it opens up your mind, it opens up your thought. Different ideas begin to come in. I'm telling you, because when you focus, when you have that time and you focus on something and you like laser focus on it, ideas, I'm telling you, it begins to pop up here and there. Like you'll be like, wow, how come I haven't thought of those? Because when you are in so many places, your attention is everywhere. You cannot concentrate. But when you focus in on something and you're able to give yourself the time to think about it, you will see how ideas are popping in. I'm telling you. So my challenge for you, yes, as you're watching, as you are listening, focus on one particular thing this week. One thing, you know, and maybe something so simple, but focus on something this week. And you do your very best to make it happen. If this has blessed you, please like, please subscribe, please share, leave a comment, all right? And don't forget to post whatever you're working on this week, whatever you're focusing on, because I really want to celebrate your success. I love you. Make it a great week. This is your girl, your lady, first lady V on the Achievers Corner. God bless you. Have a wonderful one.